this little house behind the telephone pole there was, uh, I worked on that house with uh, James Wolin, the ar historical architect from Harford County. And we worked an entire day and the house just proved to be so fantastic because it was built completely out of square and it looked like it had been built by rank amateurs. And it was a Quaker plan, one room above another. And uh, William Fell had been a Quaker and the house had some really strange early archaic things in it that you wouldn't have found in a late 18th century house. So it was a very early 18th century house. This house was, uh, is only 18 feet deep. Uh, the, that, because, in the back there is all added on. Oh, that, everything is added on. But this, this building, uh, when we were working on it, it's 18, exactly 18 feet by 18 feet 9 on this side and 18 feet on that side. So it's built out of square. It's got a... Why? You, you mentioned that William Fell was a Quaker. Why, why did he build out of square? Was it a religious thing? No, 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 no. It was, it was because they, they weren't builders. Uh, he 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 builders, he right. was in com he was in communication with all of the Quakers up in Cecil County, all around. Uh, he he got all over the place with the Quakers, and uh, uh, and the Quakers all helped one another, and they all through Cecil County. You'll find this little house once, and then sometimes double the the same little house hooked together, and we figure. Since it was part of the Fell Mansion, when at the end it probably was the house had just grown and grown and grown and grown, and, and uh, that it, it was William Fell's house, perhaps. So basically, if this was a big mansion and everything, like how far did his property actually extend? He just lived in this little bitty, little bitty house. No, no, no. This was the, this would have been the first house, and then it grew. And he added on and on and on. And we have an ad from 1794 of selling off the Fell Mansion. And uh, when they sold off, the, then they called it the mansion. And it goes back to the horse to come in on and up here and over here. And when I was doing the work on the city houses that I had to do, we went through, Arnold Caputi worked with me, and we went through the basements of some of these buildings, and we found the fireplaces, huge fireplaces in the basement down the street here. Now that's Flemish bond there. Is that a fake Flemish bond? No, you said it wasn't. It, it's real Flemish bond. I mean, it's, it's the way it's like. Flemish, right, Flemish bond is the, is the design. Yeah, that's a half brick and a whole brick, a half brick and a whole brick. And that's for the front of houses. But you said this was. Rebuilt. All rebuilt. So this is not the original front of this house. No. Okay. The, this, this front was in such bad condition uh, that uh, we photographed what was there and then took it down and rebuilt this. The, the house was in such bad shape uh, that we had to have, this wall had to be propped up while this one was taken down just to keep it from caving in. And once it was done, everything was reinforced from the inside, crumbling. The, the front wall practically fell into powder. And so it had a, it's got a new front. Uh, this side wall is, is probably original. Has some of the original framing on the structure on the second floor ceiling and a little bit of the first floor ceiling framing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't know you were uh, but it is, uh, it's largely uh, a rebuilt house. 